So this is a video of me showing you how to assemble a preformed face maintainer uh, on the cast. You can replicate the same thing in the mouth. So the first thing that you need is a box. Uh, you can see the different sizes here. Uh, the, the places where you see multiple bands are the ones which are most commonly used. So you don't have to buy refills of all of them. You can just buy refills of the sizes that I've put multiple bands in. Now coming to what all uh, armamentarians you would be needing, this is a spoon excavator, uh, this is to remove the band, this is the band pusher, this is to push the band and adjust it properly. This is a cutter of the wires, uh, the loop basically. This is Adam's plier, this is a crimping plier and here in this box you can see the small loops and the distal shoe areas which are the attachments for the bands. So let's begin of how to assemble it. So the first thing is uh, you need to see the tooth and the area and if everything is appropriate. Now you can choose sizes. Now I've already chosen the size number 33. So you see when I'm putting it, I would be like pushing this properly with the band pusher. Now once I'm satisfied with the fit of the band in the mouth, what I can do is I can take a loop from here this is the loop this is how it looks like and I will see how it is and how much length I have to cut it so I will try and hold it here and I, I realize that I have to cut it till this point okay so what we do is we take a cutter and we put it inside it and we just cut it off okay when you press this it's gonna cut off so I've already cut a loop and kept it to show it to you all. So this is the loop. Now what you should do is in order to make the process simpler, just hold the loop with the Adam's plier nicely like this. And you take off the band and you try to push it in the tube. So do it gently, otherwise it keeps on bending like this. Now, once you get through, so most of the work of the space maintenance is done outside the mouth only, nothing much inside the mouth. So the child is sitting nicely, getting distracted by watching something on the TV while you're doing the job outside the mouth. Now you see this is fixed here. Now we'll put it back and see if you're happy with the fit. If we are, if we feel it's fitting properly, I'm satisfied with this fit. So I will take it out and now I'm going to use the crimping plier. So this is a crimping plier. It comes with the kit. All I'll be doing is I'll hold it right where the tube goes in and I'm going to press it hard. So I've pressed it. So basically this area has got crimped. So the loop is not going to come out no matter what. I'm going to press it again. So that's it. Again, I'm going to check the fit if I'm happy with the fit, I will ask the child to bite on it, check it from all the angles. It looks pretty nice to me. In the mouth, it's even better. It's the cast, so of course I won't have the gum contour out here. So if I'm happy with it, I'll just remove it. Dry it, the tooth and this. I usually put a light here, GIC cement. I mix it for a period of 20 seconds, I fix it inside and I cure it with the light and there. I'm done with the space maintainer. Uh, if you have assembled everything fine and you get the size of the band within two or three minutes, then uh, the entire space maintainer thing is done in less than 20 minutes. No pain, no hassles, uh, beautiful procedure and you save on the lab cost. I hope uh, this was self-explainable video and you'll be able to do it nicely on your own. Thank you.